back out into your lawn, maybe your neighbor's lawn. Current wind hazards right now, we do have a wind advisory until 6 p.m. That's because winds can gust up to 45 miles per hour. At 6 p.m., we'll still have those winds. The gusts just won't be as stout. Now, currently, we do have those wind gusts gushing out of the southeast into the 30s in some locations, including the Des Moines Metro. The sustained winds are impressive as well. Take a look at Carroll, 31 sustained winds, 21 out of the southeast right now in Des Moines. So it is a windy two hands on the wheel day and it will continue for the next six hours. We'll continue to see those winds off into the 20s for sustained winds. And again, these winds won't back down until after midnight and then it'll be a little bit quieter, but it might be a little creaky to start out uh, the sleep. Downtown Skycam, you can make out the blue sky. There is a little cirrus up there filtering some sunshine already at 66. We topped out at 63 yesterday, so we are really warming up today and that is because those winds are out of the warm direction. Now temperatures currently into the 50s still up in northeastern Iowa, but most of us are into those 60s getting into the 70s. That is the goal because this warm front is lifting on through the state, bringing in these warmer temperatures. So as we travel through the afternoon, warm and windy into the low 70s, gusty evening, however, still comfortable. Overnight, those clouds will be on the increase. The rain will come late after midnight and actually closer towards sunrise tomorrow. Those rains will be with us early, then they will push out to the east, unfortunately, in time for the Iowa, the game in Iowa City. Clearing skies after that into the 60s, 60s stick, stick around and for Sunday as well. However, it will be breezy on Sunday, but not so much tomorrow. Taking a look hour by hour, notice those clouds begin to fill in overnight. Rain moves in from the southwest. It will stretch up into northern Iowa. 7 a.m. here in the metro area. Pushing east, so if you have pumpkin patch plans, you might want to hold them off till the afternoon. The game kicks off at 11 in Iowa City. Notice that rain. It is going to impact, however, not expecting any thunder or lightning, so that is the good news with that. And once the rain moves out, the skies clear out. So there will be a sunny finish to your Saturday on Sunday. This is actually fog, so if you're running the Des Moines uh, <clears throat> Marathon, excuse me, you might catch a little fog early in the day. Clouds will be on the increase after the clouds move in, the rain moves in. But notice it is going to be in the evening. Western Iowa, west to east, we'll see that rain move on through the state of Iowa. As far as rainfall totals, not expecting a whole lot, about a quarter of an inch or less for most location, but there will be those isolated pockets that could pick up half inch to an inch. Unfortunately, yes, there is going to be rain for the game, so you might want to bring on poncho. Overcast skies, the 60s are going to feel a little bit cool. Winds, notice they will be calm. The cyclones, they are down in Texas feeling the heat of the 70s and sunny. They're feeling like what we're feeling like today. Mostly sunny with gusts up to 45. Temperatures well above normal into those low 70s. Tonight, temperatures drop off into the upper 40s, low 50s here in the metro. The rain after midnight, closer to sunrise tomorrow morning. And then we'll get another chance of rain moving in Sunday night into Monday before things start drying out. Monday is looking like a really raw, blustery day.